Who do successful entrepreneurs hang out with? This is a fun question to think about. The people that we surround ourselves with are the ones most likely to really influence who we are and what we become. So you do want to really think about who are those people in your life that you spend a lot of time with and are they helping you get from where you're trying to start from and to get to. And in this video, we will go over who those different categories of people are. Hi, I'm Dr. Annie De Pasquale. I'm the owner of Collaborating Docs. We help nurse practitioners find excellent collaborating physicians. And today we're talking all about who do entrepreneurs hang out with to help them move forward in their career trajectory. So the first category of people are mentors. So mentors are people likely that are sort of colleagues that you can network with who have maybe gone before you. They've been in your shoes a year ago, six months ago, maybe 10 years ago, and they're going to help sort of guide you on the right path. Some mentors will do it free of charge and are just happy to help you. Other mentors, you may actually have to pay to get a mentor that is appropriate for you. I've done it both ways in my own life. I've been to BNI events. It's a networking group across, the, actually it's the whole world, not just the US. And you can find different groups within your local area. You go and you network with other business people, share ideas. They always have like a keynote speaker sharing sort of their own advice on what's helped them get where they have, what they've achieved. And you just get to talk with other like-minded professionals. So that's been a big help to me. And there are many different sorts of networking groups out there, but you do need to make the time to go to the networking events. The second group of people are advisors. So these are experts who are going to give their perspective on your business sort of as an outsider looking in. They're not tied to the daily grind and minutia of what you're doing. So they can have a better uh, perspective on how to really help you. Usually an advisor would also be, I would say more commonly a paid professional helping you Potentially, you might luck out and have someone that you know in the real world that would not mind advising you, maybe family or a friend, but make sure that whoever this person is, they have the background that they need to give you good advice. If they have been a car salesman their whole life, they might be wonderful at car sales, but when it comes to setting up a telemedicine practice, although they know business, they may not really know how to help your type of business. So make sure it's a good it's a good fit. I have had various people through my several years of building collaborating docs who have been advisors and I definitely had to seek out people that would be appropriate for my particular field which is very unique and niche. So um it may be a challenge to find that right person, but once you do it's incredibly valuable. Obviously, you're going to be spending a lot of time around your employees of your business. So you need loyal people, good people, nice people to be around who are going to support you and your mission. They should be passionate about what you're doing, how you're doing it, and be real team players. So if you find people are not fitting sort of the vision and mission of your medical practice, you will need to cut ties with those people because you need that good support network. Oftentimes you'll be using freelancers. I do this I all day long. I'm talking and communicating with freelancers across the whole world who are doing little different parts of our business on a part-time or as needed basis. So you're managing, delegating, and just like an employee, you want those freelancers to be on the same page and really supportive of the efforts that you're making. So in summary, you're definitely day to day surrounded by your team, which should include those freelancers, the full time employees and then advisors, mentors that can 
kind of see that bigger picture and make sure you're on the right path. So make sure, think, maybe take a long walk and think through who are these people you're interacting with on a daily basis and are they good for you? Are they helping further your mission, your personal and business goals, or is someone holding you back? It's hard to cut ties with people, but you really must before it becomes a bigger problem, a bigger stress, a bad influence. So if you are looking to get started and you need a collaborating position for your practice, please check in the information, the description below for the link to Collaborating Docs. I wish you all the best to your success and I will see you next time.